This is 60 in 60, the road to 60 years of independence. We present the better half. Guess who's home I'm taking you all in today? Wow, such a beautiful home. Now, at the side of the Prime Minister, the Honorable Dr. Keith Rowley, stands an attorney at law, wife, mother, and a woman that champions gender equity. She also believes in making sure that regardless of your status change, it does not change who you are. So today, we'll be talking with Mrs. Sharon Rowley on The Better Half. Mrs. Rowley. Hi, with me. How are you? I have to give you an elbow. Bounce, bounce. Yes. That's right. Thank Welcome. you for having me in your my beautiful pleasure. home. My pleasure. Yes. Lovely so, to have you. We are not going to wait any longer. I see that you're already working yes. out. I'm just going to finish off this. So I'm just doing some weight training here. So just let me finish my duty. Yes. And you're working out extremely hard. Yes. That I see. Yes. Now, which piece of equipment in the gym you like the most? Probably the treadmill. It is um, between the treadmill and this fly station, so that at least I develop my upper body. And as you get older, more mature, you tend to want to ensure that there's not much flab. So I will come here and just do a little of this, which is what I tend to do, and work from here. Very nice. Now, you're the wife of the Prime Minister. In two words, what is that like? I will give you in four words because I'm going to add a pronoun and a verb. Okay. It is a five. It is a supporting role. And that is really what being the wife of the Prime Minister is. And I'm sure any other spouse will say the same thing. You know? So let me just move over to the treadmill number two on the list of equipment yes now how did you and dr rowley meet we met many years ago um, we've been married for 37 years and i met him at the university of the west Indies. i was doing a summer job and he came in he was working at this he was the head of the seismic research unit and he came in to the administration department and um, saw me there. We had chatted and so on. And after a while, he invited me to lunch. So I accepted. The next day he came. I looked out of the window, saw him there in his car and decided cold feet took it. And I certainly wasn't going to lunch with this man who I didn't really know. All right. So I headed to the bathroom and he waited. And when, when the course was clearly tuned, I mean, very childish of me, but that's how it was. But he didn't give up. So, 37 years after, we are happily married, and the, we have two girls, two daughters, and two grandsons. Oh, that's yes. beautiful. Now, what has changed for you since you have become Prime Minister? I think for me, I mean, some very simple things would be like um, stop this and take a break and walk down here. So I think very simply, one, we do not live in our home and a home which we had occupied since our marriage in 1985. Um, I don't drive again. Um, do you like that? Not driving? Not at all. I love to be able to get in my car and go wherever I want to go. And there is that slight hindrance because you must always be informing other persons, the security of the way you're going and they have to be with you. So one that clearly is independent, now you have to be like, listen, 
I have to do this, do that. Totally independent. I mean, I get up and head to work in the morning at 7.30 and I am there for the entire day until half past four or five, after five, I take home work. And that's the story of my life. That's what a day in my life is like. So what do you like to do after working out do? Or like to eat? After working out, you find I probably just grab a smoothie. So I'm just going to introduce you to one of Sharon's smoothies. Um, I've always liked um, strawberry banana smoothies. We will start with, just allow me just to of wash course. my hands, please. Thank you. Of course. Now, I know that you're whipping up this smoothie for us, but yes. what has remained the same since being the first lady? Oh. My, I think most importantly is that I continue to work, as I said before. And I, that gives me my own independence. I consider myself an independent woman. And uh, having studied and uh, spent so much time doing law and enjoying what I do, I continue to do it. So that uh, that remains the same. Um, but in addition to that, what has changed and what I absolutely delight in is meeting people um, being the patron of or patroness of several organizations and in that regard I'm able to help persons, I gravitate towards assisting women and children. What type of law do you practice? I do conveyancing, which is like real estate law, the buying and selling of land, mortgages and that kind of thing. So um, we work for various financial institutions and I have a very busy day. As I say, 7.30 in the morning, 5 in the evening, later afternoon, after that, take home work. But that's the life of a working woman yes. who's married to the Prime Minister, who therefore has additional duties to do in the social side of things. Yes, and so it is almost... This is your second job. It is a second job, but it's part of the course and I enjoy it. I enjoy it. So now let's go on to... Perfect. Hey, Whitney, here we go. It looks delish. Now, I hope it tastes as good as it does. So what do you and Dr. Rowley do to relax? Because you're like extremely busy. That's right. I mean, and that relaxation time um, at times could be few and far between, but still it's there. So quiet dinner, um, movie, Netflix. You love Netflix? And What's your I favorite love, movie? Oh my goodness, Virgin River. I continue to, I, I look at that, it's a series more or less, and I totally enjoy it here. Thank you, you very are. much. And wait, there's your yeah. straw, there's your straw. I'll let you open it up. Thank you. So this is Sharon smoothie. Strawberry, banana, touch of mango, mm -hmm. little yogurt. Some honey I saw. And how about this? Oh, is that? Yeah, can you just, we just stick it there. Oh, wow. Ooh. Okay. I'm ready. TGI's has nothing on me, okay? Cheers. Yes. To you. Mmm. My third job. Okay. So you have to bottle this and sell it? I will, definitely. You need to. Very delicious. Definitely, definitely. So what does your typical day look like for you? Typical day, half past five, six, get up in the morning, and then get ready. Thank the Almighty for taking me into another day. I mean, we never forget that. Yes. And then after, we then, I had to work between half past seven. I am in office at 20 to eight, and I work for the entire day. As I said, I may stop for lunch on occasion, cricks and peanut butter, work until half past four, five, after take home work, dinner. If I am lucky and I don't have work to do, it may be a movie. I may probably fall asleep, 
looking at the movie, if I'm reading a book, I fall asleep on the book. <laughs> but, and then I eventually get up and realize I missed two, three hours, right? Yes. But that's really what it is. I'm going to put you on the spot a little bit, mm -hmm. right? Now, makeup or no makeup? Definitely makeup. Why? Um, in small quantities. I simply think that it, it enhances one's appearance. So, you know, you might want a little darker eyebrow or something like that, and you work on it, right? Yes. So, the other question I'm going to ask you to put you on the spot a little bit again. Yes. The love of being a mother with your children, is it different to the love for your grandkids? Definitely. Most definitely. In, as I, I, when I think of it, with children, you are much younger, you are sp and um, in career-wise, you are early in your career. So a lot of time is spent building that career, fitting in that family, looking after the children, giving the love they, that they deserved and they, that you could give. But when the grandchildren come around, you have more time on your hands to, to devote to them. I'm not saying that, I mean, work is there, work is there, but you are able to manage it. So yes. time management is important in dealing with children and grandchildren, but you always need to devote time to them, give them love, and that is what we, both Keith and I, um, give to our children. He's a doting grandfather, there's no <laughs> question about it. They don't come worse than him. His Lucas and his Liam, um, uh, it's, it's amazing, he actually, spent one night I went into the um, study and he was cutting out from magazines little animals and he put to, mounted them on Bristol board two sheets all sorts of animals and Liam and Lucas will go into his room and identify every single one he sets up a zoo for them with little animals and they know all the platypus this is my two-year-old talking about the platypus and this kind of thing but what will you expect from a geologist who takes me on a hike, not quite on our honeymoon, but soon after, up Sufre Volcano. You only can get that from a person <laughs> who is a geologist. And you go along, and I went along because I mean, Keith is, we have such a relationship. He is my rock, I am his. And I thank God for that. And as I said, I started by telling you that my role is a supporting role. I am his rock, yes. and he is mine. Definitely. Yeah. Now, what on both sides, mm -hmm. what are the little things that inspire you both to especially help each other through a long day? Just being together in the night. You know, we get in, it may be late, but he may have all things to do. I will be in probably earlier than him. And we have dinner together. Uh, he will then, if he has work to do, cabinet papers and so on. If I'm up when he comes in, we may look at a movie, li listen to some jazz music, um, and just enjoy quiet time. And um, I think that is one of the best things we could ask for, you yes. know, as a couple. Now, you know? what advice you will give persons like yourself with men who are in certain positions and they want to carve a way for themselves to find their identity in such a position like yourself? I think firstly I will say to that spouse, whether male or female, it is important that you be your authentic self. You cannot change because your husband is in politics. You must be your own person, you must do what you are accustomed to doing what you did before because politics is a temporary thing you could be here today you could be gone tomorrow so you must appreciate that don't lose your independence don't lose yourself you have to be able to manage on your own to a certain extent and you also will be there to support that person and that basically is the, your role as the wife whether a politician or whatever yeah. You are, your role is supporting. Now, speaking of being yeah. independent, yes. we'll be celebrating 60 years of being independent, independent in Trinidad, in Trinidad right. Tobago. Mm -hmm. What could you tell us or your hope for our country 
Sweet Trin Bagel. Sweet Trin Bagel. And I wish we would continue to be sweet. But I would say to you that we have as our motto the words, together we aspire, together we achieve. We have um, the, the watchwords of discipline, production, and tolerance. If we, as citizens of Trinidad and Tobago, really believed in those words and followed them to the T, we will be a nation living in harmony. Together we aspire, together we achieve. And it is for us to ensure that that is carried out. Mrs. Rowley, I'd like to thank you so much for the opportunity to be here to speak with you and give us a little more insight about who you are as Mrs. Rowley. It is so much I would like to ask, but time is against me and I know you're a busy woman and it's time for me to go. With me, this has been a pleasure. Thank you for joining us here at the residence. It has been an interesting afternoon, evening, and I hope we meet again. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you. Until next time. Exactly. Thank you. There you go.